Once a Sun of App Store is connected to SAP, it uses the business logic of your SAP system. There might be the case that you do not want to use some of the SAP functionality and data in your Sun of App Store. Using Web Store optimization in SAP, you can disable the features which you do not use. In the main menu of the SANA add-on, click Web Store Optimization. In the Web Store ID field, select your Web Store and click Execute. Here you can see different features used by SANA in SAP. All features are grouped under several categories. You can see them if you expand a category. You must enable those features that you need and disable those which are not necessary for your web store. Remember that you should disable only those features which you are not going to use in your Asana web store. Disabling unnecessary functionality can also improve performance of your web store. I am going to show you how it works. As an example, I will use sales document attachments. As you can see, sales document attachments are enabled now. So, I have created an order from the Sana Web Store and added an attachment to it in SAP. Let's go to the Sana Web Store. I'm going to open the details page of my order. Here is the attachment I have added to the order in SAP. Now, I will switch to SAP and disable the sales document attachments in the Web Store Optimization window. Let's check what happens in the Sana Web Store. As you can see, my sales order attachment is no longer here. This way, you can enable and disable any feature available in the Web Store Optimization window of the Sana add-on in SAP. There are also two options in the Web Store Optimization window that can be used by developers and technical specialists to measure performance. They are API Call Elapsed Time and Elapsed Time Logging. When you enable the option API Call Elapsed Time, there will be an extra node in the XML response that shows time in milliseconds of how long it takes to process the request in SAP and return the response. This information can be used by system administrators, developers, and other IT specialists who are responsible for SANA Web Store maintenance to investigate performance issues, if there are any, and check whether the problem is in the ERP system or maybe it's somewhere on the network. The API Call Elapsed Time checkbox is enabled now, so let's switch to SANA Admin and process some requests. In SANA Admin, I will click Tools, ERP Connection, Debug ERP Request. I'm going to select the XML request, for example, Get Product Categories, and click Send Request. Here is the response from SAP, and you can see how long it took SAP to process the Get Product Categories request and to return the response. As for the Elapsed Time Login checkbox, you can enable it and view Sun Application Performance Log in SAP ECC. In the Object field, I'm going to select Sana Performance Logs and click Execute. Using performance logs, you can see how long each API call takes. Developers and technical specialists can collect performance data to analyze it and identify performance bottlenecks. 